What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kaylin Ryan, and I'm back again with another video. Before this video continues, I do want to give a shout out to our sponsor, and that is OGCLA.com. It is a woman's boutique that highlights your curves and accentuates your beauty in the best ways. And I just happen to be an ambassador for the brand, and I've been doing it for some years now. And I absolutely love it. If you like anything that you see here, please be sure to visit the website and shop with OGCLA. Now back to the video. Do you believe that your environment dictates who and what you become? We can do all the inner work to be the best person, to strive and chase after God, to do all the things that we feel we're led to do. But if we continue to be in environments that don't serve us, if we continue to stay in environments that hurt us, and if we continue to stay in environments that influence us negatively, we will never truly see the fullness of our growth and development. We just won't. This topic came about in my mind because I was scrolling through Instagram and I came across these really cute videos of animals who should be acting one way, but because of their environment, they're acting another. I have a few examples that I wanna go over. The first one is this horse who's making snow angels with their owner. The horse walks up on its owner and realizes that she's making snow angels. This then encourages the horse to play along and imitate the owner. This may be viewed as a wonderful touching moment, but if we dive deeper, we can learn a lot. The owner just so happens to be doing something fun, simple, exciting, relaxed, responsible, you know what I mean, but playful and the horse is imitating that behavior. Imagine if the owner was displaying hate, violence, or anger. The horse would be subject to display that same emotion. Disclaimer, I do not feel as if just because you hang out with them or kick it with them, that that means you automatically stand by what they stand on, have the same views, have the same beliefs, politically, health-wise, academically, whatever have you. You can be around people that don't necessarily mirror the exact viewpoints you have. For my next example, let's dive into this panther video. Panthers are known to be ferocious animals that hunt and prey on the weak in the wild. And in this video, you can see that this panther is being loved on, coddled, cuddled, and rubbed on like a house pet. Yes, the panther looks happy. Yes, it's being loved on. But for argument's sake, is it in the correct environment that it was meant to be in? As you can see, it has a friend. It's made a friend, it's grew up with a friend. This puppy and panther are a duo. History shows that dogs have been pets for a long time, known as man's best friend. Again, for argument's sake, is this friendship holding the panther back? This brings me to my next point, that environments that are comfortable don't always mean that that's where you're supposed to be. Let's just say that God's true intention for this panther is to roam the jungle and to dominate and to procreate and to do everything that a wild animal is to do. And although it looks sweet, it makes us feel warm inside to see the two of them together and things like that. Are we unintentionally witnessing and encouraging the stunt of someone's growth. And although these two beautiful animals can relate on playtime and fun and excitement, they have two different destinies. My last example would be this dog and cheetah. Although I brought up the negatives and the potential downfalls of hanging around people or staying in environments that don't necessarily benefit you or that don't necessarily align with your future, I do want to point out how hanging with people or places outside of your comfort zone can propel you to the next level. This cute pair grew up together from babies, from childhood, from adolescence, from infancy stage, okay? But let's take a look at this photo right here. As you can see, the cheetah and the dog standing tall side by side. For example purposes, we know that the cheetah is a wild animal, confident, cocky, ferocious, a predator, a hunter. We know that. And a house dog is there to protect 
and has a big heart and can do a lot as well, but isn't necessarily groomed for that type of wild environment naturally if it's been a pet its whole life. Can it adapt once it's in the wild? Sure. But it will be at more of a disadvantage than the cheetah would because the cheetah knows its way around the jungle. So I just wanna point out the posture of the dog here in this video. The cheetah standing tall, looking confident, looking ready to tackle anything and hunt any prey that crosses its path. And the dog is now mimicking and sharing that same stance and demeanor and glow. The environments we hang in can either wither us away or strengthen us. If you find yourself in a group of friends that is constantly striving, a family that's constantly pushing themselves and pushing you, if you find yourself in an environment where people are constantly looking for what's next, what's better, what can we do, what new things can we try, you will constantly grow and evolve and learn as they do because you're in that environment. If you don't put yourself in the room, you won't ever be doing what people in the room are doing. If you wanna do music, be around musicians. If you wanna be a chef, find yourself in a kitchen and be around other culinary enthusiasts. Like me, if you wanna be an entertainment journalist, if you wanna be in media, surround yourself with people in the field. I have strategically networked my way with a lot of amazing people very genuine connections, but very strategic in the sense of, I like what you're doing, I'm gonna be there one day. So it would be cool to either get underneath and learn or to align myself with you equally so that we can navigate this path towards our success together. Keeping yourself around people that have the same mentality as you or that are going where you think you wanna go will continue to sharpen you. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron. Okay, you don't wanna be dull. I can't wanna be in this field, but don't look at other girls in this field and see how she doing that. See how well she read the teleprompter. Watch how she presented herself on that red carpet. Receive feedback from people in the industry that have watched me come up and do what I do. I can't, I, I, I would be doing myself a disservice to not align myself with people with either the same drive or the same end goal as me. Environment dictates that. If I hung around a group of friends or a group of people that were just, mm, yeah, it'd be okay that you got that one gig, but don't reach for the stars and try and take the number one daytime slot. You've already done enough. That mentality will at some point start to seep in because the Bible also says that evil company corrupts good manner. And that doesn't mean that if you're a good person, you can't change people or help to leave an impression but more than likely, because sin is such a strong, pungent force, you'll be tainted by them more so than you are able to impact them. So it's all about being honest with yourself and recognizing how much willpower you have and how much strength you have in certain environments. You know, I can't be changed, I can't be influenced. Okay, find you a year later doing what they do times a thousand. So let's be honest, our environments change everything all right y'all that about wraps up another video thank you for watching i love you guys and i appreciate you for going on this journey with me because remember we are all growing as i grow i'll speak and share as i struggle i'll speak and share we're all growing okay go out and do something for someone else go out and be a blessing and go out and have an amazing day god loves you and i'll see you in another video